This is my first ever video posted. I have tons of footage that I haven't put into this video because I've made many mistakes as I went along building it. Keep in mind that this is a completely custom build and everything I do here is well thought out. I hope you guys enjoy part one. I'll also be making part two and three and you know, possibly even more than that. I also really want to thank all the people who supported me and helped me throughout this build. Sometimes it was a complete disaster and it's good to have friends who could answer your questions. Cause let me tell you something, you will always have questions and that's a completely normal thing. If you leave your guys' comments in the comment section, I'll answer everything. Um, I'll get to you guys as fast as I could, but um, yeah, enjoy. All right, so to start off, I bought this go-kart on Facebook Marketplace and it's a adult, a competitive size racing go-kart. And I just bought the chassis, it was without the engine. It's used to run a combustion engine. And so my idea is to put batteries on that side right there and the other side. So I'm gonna have two separate batteries and then the motor's gonna go on the back. So um, it's, it's like perfect and it was around 900 bucks, which is a still good price for just chassis, so. This right here is gonna be the motor I'll be using. And um, this is a uh, forklift motor. And the only information it gave me uh, from this motor is that it's 48 volts. And uh, it didn't give me the number of amps or like the wattage or anything. It just gave me the volts. So what I'll be doing is just pretty much testing this motor um, and you know, just assuming how much power this could take. So uh, this will be a complete guess. I'll start from like, you know, 100 amps and continue my way up and see if it like overheats. And if it does, I'll lower it and, and then I'll let you guys know what the specified number of amps this could take. And uh, I've, I've bought this one on eBay. Um, and this one looks clean because um, some motors are a little dirtier because they're older. So when you're looking for a motor, just try to look for like a clean one because um, you don't you don't want too much rust on it. Um, but I'll be cleaning it anyway because some of the paint is a little bit, uh, is peeling a little bit. So I'll be using a, a brush uh, and making everything shiny and then repainting this whole uh, part right here in black. Um, but yeah, I've tested the motor and it seems to work. This is uh, just 24 volts. Um, I don't know how much amps these have, but I'm just trying to test the motor and see if it runs and it, hap it happens to run, which is a good sign. Um, quick update, um, this guy, that sold the go-kart. Um, apparently, I already told you guys, but the wheel, one of the wheels, this one was actually flat. And so he gave me a new set. And apparently these still have good treads as you could tell by these like dimples right here. These still have good treads, but you could see when you were taking them off, you could see the wire um, of the wheel, which makes them, uh, I mean, they're, they're, they still are good. Like the tires are good, it's just, um, you could see that, like, I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to fix it. I'll try fixing them. So he just gave me these, the old ones. Um, and these are actually wider too. Um, just a bit wider, these ones. So yeah, and these have good treads too. So yeah, and hopefully I can get these fixed. Maybe I could put some sealant around the rim. Yeah, um, also I've got some metal. There's this guy I know. He, he gave me a bunch of, you know, free metal, um, because at the store they're pretty expensive, especially stainless steel. Like, I've been making a motor mount, and there's this huge stainless steel sheet I got, or I guess a couple sheets, one second. Stainless steel, and they're flat. I'll be making a motor mount from it. I'll cut it up. Yeah, and, and then I have a little bit of other pieces that I'll be using maybe later in the future where I'll be, when I'll be making motor mounts or I'll be welding or something, I don't know. I'll just keep those. Um, 
yeah, that's, that's what's happening so far. So next step is gonna be make, making a motor mouth. Oh, actually this arrived too. This adapter, um, it's a 13 tooth adapter. I bought, it has actually two sides, um, which I don't really care as long as it fits. And it honestly, it fits really nice. See, barely makes any, it makes that a little bit of a, but it's fine, it fits all welded on there. So I just finished welding this. As you guys could tell, it's not the best. But honestly, I'm really happy with my welds. Um, there's that side, and then there's this side. I still have to hit out all the this stuff. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but I'm actually really happy with this side. It looks pretty good. Um, and then, yeah. Okay, guys. So this is what it should look like, but I'm not finished yet. I still have to make a hole down here. Uh, drill a hole down here and down here. Uh, one little problem I ran into was I used a metric um, nut to screw this in and it's like stuck and it won't screw out like you can it feels like it's giving pressure it just doesn't want to come out so I have to use this grinder to get it out so um, but I got um, instead of the uh, one second instead of the metric I got these but they don't have a rubber ceiling so I'll just tighten these up and put lock nut on them so but I'm gonna have to unscrew that first, so I'll grind it out. All right, just got it out. Okay, guys, this is what I have. Everything's screwed in super tightly, um, and it won't get out because there's a there's a uh, I forgot what that part was called. Uh, but anyways, it's not the screws are gonna fly out. I put them in super tight, and you know if I do see like looseness or something, I'll just put lock lock nuts or. Um, I'll just get the ones with like a rubber ceiling, but I think this is good. And then this is gonna go on like that. See, it still spins free, freely, and then the screws don't get really get in the way as well. And so yeah, it's, it's gonna go on there, and then that's gonna. I want to put that on the axle right now. So see what it looks like. See you guys in a bit. One thing to keep in mind though is that when you are going to the junkyard um, and picking out your pulleys and stuff you uh it's it should be really easy because they all pretty much use eight millimeter pitch um belts all you need to do is find the correct size like, like this is going to be on my axle and it's going to be on my motor um and yeah and they have to be the same width so yeah and the belt i ordered is i don't know it's like four five hundred something millimeters which is super short because it's going to be like right there it goes and it goes like around um yeah, but that's one little thing you should keep in mind is that, you know, it's not really hard to find these. If you want to buy them on eBay, it's like 60 to 70 bucks a piece, um, you know, like for one of these. And that's pretty, that's pretty pricey if you ask me, but like at the junkyard place, you pay like 16 bucks. And one time they actually give me one for free. So you're, you're paying way less to go to junkyard, you know, do, but you, of course you got to do some work and stuff and put in, uh, and like unscrew and buy some tools for it to get this out because this one actually is like this is the timing belt shaft so that one's really hard to get out but these are super easy you just need an impact uh drill and just like get it out so yeah so this is what it looks like it's um you know it's if it was like it would be a bad um, alignment, I guess I could say, if it was going like kind of like sideways like that. But since it's kind of just because I, I only see it going up just a tiny bit, like less than a millimeter, you know, it, it's just a little bit. It won't it won't affect anything that much. Um, you know, it's it's a belt driven system uh, anyways, so you know it's rubber. So it won't really do too much damage, like unlike, unlike a chain where a chain is actually metal, you know, touching metal. So it's like, it would kind of do some damage, but I think this is a good, you know, I think this is pretty good. I like it.
Hey guys, so uh, basically what I've done so far, as you can tell, I finished the whole motor mount here or the floor mount. This is my idea. Um, I think it'll be strong because you know it has like a double going here. One back there, and I think this is gonna have enough support. Um, yeah, and then here is the motor mount. That's the motor floor mount, and this is the motor mount. Basically, I'm gonna have like the motor aligned here, um, screwed in here. There's holes over here. Uh, I got a bunch of bolts. Go over here. This this is a 30 millimeter belt, but I ordered a 35, so it's gonna fit pretty much the whole thing uh i hooked it up as you guys can tell i connected everything but i hooked it up to a speed control and a battery and a throttle and just keep in mind this is all just a test I'm trying to see if everything runs this is not going to be my setup and shut up That was the brakes, but yeah, it runs really smoothly. I'm not getting a huge wobble on here, which means I did a good, and the belt tension is, you know, it's about perfect. I'm, I'm actually squeezing as hard as I can right now, but that's what I have so far. Um, I know it, and if I move it, I could show you guys again, but it's not loud. Like, Full throttle. Um, I wanted more torque, but whatever. I'll keep this. I'll keep this for now and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I've actually tested. I sat in it and it went about 15 miles an hour. Just to test it and see, you know, if anything's gonna wobble too much or, you know, anything breaks, but it's pretty solid actually. Um, there's bolts here, here, down there. There's a bunch of bolts and then my des my motor mount design. And this thing is, this thing is really hard. Um, yeah. So this is the part sheet. Um, this is everything I bought uh, from, you know, screws to the go-kart frame. I tried to include everything possible. And as you guys could tell about uh, the prices, um, I don't I haven't seen a lot of YouTube videos about people like listing prices for, uh, for their parts they used. I just wanted to so you guys could get an idea of how much this go-kart build would cost. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, right, this is what I have. Um, and I just wanted to come to a conclusion. So we started off by buying a go-kart, um, then I, you know, I try to make mounts for everything. And that was the whole part of the video is making mounts and having everything just placed in its, like in its position, um, which I've successfully done. Uh, next video, uh, which is going to be part two, I'll be doing a battery and battery cases. Um, and yeah, so, and I'll, I'll answer all your guys' questions in the comments. Um, if there's too much questions that, you know, that people keep repeating and asking me, I'll just, uh, I'll just make a video about it. And yeah, so you guys just list as much questions as you have so I could just make a video about it. See you in part two.